Hello there. We had a real mixture of weather around on Thursday. It was pleasantly warm across southeastern areas. Temperatures in Hampshire and Cambridgeshire reached 21 Celsius, 70 Fahrenheit. Open to the public, the former gas platform that's been turned into a seaside visitor attraction will take you to the top of it. And it's the autumn equinox today. The weather is certainly set to take its cue. It's going to turn cooler over the next few days. But as for today, many places will be dry. Some showers in the southeast and the northwest. Your intro music for the morning, Matt. Oh, if you could do that every hit, that would be just marvellous. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I we are it. now going to arrange that. <laughs> We're now going to arrange it. Thank you very much. Yeah, anyway, very good morning to uh, both. Morning to you as well. Uh, autumn Equinox today. It's uh, the uh, start to uh, autumn, astronomically speaking, and of course, nights getting longer than days. And both of those will be getting a bit cooler over the next few days as well. Certainly a little bit fresher out there today, not desperately so. Sunny spells for most, a few showers dotted around, and a bit of a damp start if you're in the south and east this morning. There's a Cornish castle immortalised in British mythology as the place of King Arthur's conception and it's at risk of tumbling into the sea. Climate change is increasing the pace of coastal erosion. Tintagel Castle is one of several sites at risk of being lost forever. English Heritage has warned as rising seas pound the coastline. Jonah Fisher has this report. Britain's coastline is under attack like never before and what was once our first line of defence our castles are crumbling. This is a wing of Hurst Castle in Hampshire. It collapsed into the water last year. Built by Henry VIII to repel invaders, rising sea levels are now proving a dogged enemy. So the issue that we're really facing these days is climate change. We're seeing more and more sites exposed and vulnerable to the impacts of uh, higher sea levels. We're looking at more storm damage. Um, and we're seeing greater levels of erosion than we've ever seen before. English Heritage has named six sites it considers most at risk from coastal erosion. They include Tintagel, the legendary home of King Arthur in Cornwall, Peel Castle in Cumbria, which is on an island that's eroding fast, in the Dart Estuary in Devon, Bayard's Cove Fort, garrison walls on the Scilly Islands and Culshot Castle in the River Solent. There is a real risk that some of the sites we look after are not going to be able to be defended forever. And we can't stand in the way of natural processes. We have to let them work naturally. We have to allow erosion to occur. So we're not trying to stand in the way in it. What we're trying to do now is essentially buy time. So places that people value and people want to look after, we can put measures in place to protect them. An appeal has been launched to raise money to defend the sites. Britain's coast is and has always been shaped and changed by waves and storms. But with scientists predicting that sea levels could rise by as much as a metre by the end of the century, difficult decisions will have to be made about what homes and what castles we try to protect. Jonah Fisher, BBC News. You've positioned yourself very nicely um, near a crock of gold, obviously, at the end of your rainbow. I'll keep on looking for it. It is Friday after all. Uh, yes, thank, thanks, Naga. Very good morning to you. There'll be a few of these around over the next few days. Not a massive amount, but a few showers to come today and through into the weekend. But astronomically speaking, today we're officially into autumn. And with it, we're going to start to see temperatures fall away a little bit. So it's going to have more of an autumnal feel wherever you are across the country. As for what happens next week, it's all down to what's happening at the moment out in the West Atlantic. Let me just draw your attention to this swirl of cloud. This is Hurricane Fiona. Winds around that eye there gusting 160 miles an hour. What's unusual about this, whilst it weakens a little bit, it's going to slam straight into the east of Canada, potentially the strongest hurricane ever recorded here. But instead of coming across the waters in our way, it's going to shove some very warm air towards Greenland. And as that goes northwards, southwards, we'll see some Arctic air plunge towards us. So next week, it is going to be distinctly chilly, windy, and with showers at times. Back to you both. It is fascinating how everything... I know it's obvious that everything's it's linked, all connected, Matt, but it is fascinating just from that... What was... Is it uh, that storm? Is it still just classed as a storm over Bermuda moving up? It's, it's a hurricane at the moment. It it's hurricane. a major hurricane, very, very strong one, and it'll still be a hurricane when it reaches Canada, which in itself is very unusual just because the waters are so warm there. Fascinating. Thanks, Matt. Here See you later. You're welcome. Let's see, time now is 6.51. We often hear that art is subjective, either love it or hate it. But a festival called Unboxed, which has been described as a celebration of creativity across the UK, has caused quite a stir. It's about the latest installation, this, the sea monster. 
and it's going on display to the public this weekend. But the festival has cost the taxpayer £120 million and has been criticised for being a waste of money. Yes, and from a distance, uh, Liz is there for us, Liz Beacon. And, Liz, this isn't a... a oil rig, essentially, that's been turned into a, a work of art. It's new life here for the next six weeks, anyway, in Western Supermare. Well, it is. A bet. Thank you so much. It is an absolutely striking image. And it's, I think it's partly to do with you've got those sort of grey skies this morning. Yeah. It's just the lights coming up. Moody skies. Particular moment in time it is, isn't it? It looks, if you, you know, like it looks like the sea monster. If you look where its mouth is, it looks like it's blowing smoke out of it. See? Thanks. It Look, I've got... <laughs> See? There was, there. there was new on the floor. <laughs> Susan, our, our camera operator went, ooh, yes. Yeah. Not everyone <laughs> sees the same thing when you look at things out there, do they? Yeah, it's like when you make pictures things. in the clouds. Uh, we'll be back there later on. Uh, well, there's just six weeks for you to come and enjoy this art installation. It opens to the people who live in Western Supermare later on today at 11 o'clock. The queues haven't started yet, but I'm sure they will. Back to you. Liz, thank you so much. It's just had such a good time there. And um, well done for not taking out your cameraman, John, too. So, as we look at that image, um, Ben Miller, actor, author, children's story writer now, is watching with us. Look at that. Isn't that... That must... F does that fuel your imagination for beasts and extraordinary things? Well, this is the perfect... I mean, I love a portal story, as you know, and uh, I think that's the perfect portal to another world. There it is, right there. I would love to visit this. Western, Western Superman. Superman. Kingdom. Western Superman. Western Superman. Yeah. Superman. Matt's got the weather for us right now. Morning, Matt. Morning. Good morning, both. Good morning as well. Beautiful start to uh, the new season for some of you. Astronomical start to autumn this morning. It was the uh, autumn equinox last night. Some mist and fog in the valleys, though, across parts of northern England, even though you've got the clear skies overhead. Now, those skies, they look... They don't look very interesting, to be completely honest, Matt. Yeah, a little bit misty out there this morning. Uh, Naga, very good morning. It's the season of mists and mellow fruitfulness, the start of autumn, autumn equinox this morning. Matt, thanks very much. How easy is it to go back to your first picture, or is that too tricky? Oh, no, here we go. Easy peasy. There you go. OK. What about Lovely the next graphic fall. that was on it? You know, the name? Yes. <laughs> Clan San Fried Glan Conwy. There you go. So good. So good. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Excellent. All right, see you later. It's a masterclass, isn't it? Isn't it? It's a, always. It's a always. I'll tell you who's always productive, regardless. Have you ever been able to, if you need to know your, what the weather's going to be like for something, have you ever messaged Matt? Straight away. I have. I, I have do it. taken that or, liberty. I, I never do. have. It's not a liberty with friends, is it, Matt? I do it all the time. <laughs> when he's not at work, suddenly he's all having to do the it. All the time, Charlie. I do, all, all the, time. the time. If everyone's going <laughs> anywhere, I'm like, what's it going to be like here? And, um, what, <laughs> and you always reply, don't you? Because you always know. I'm always never off duty, no, there you never. Go. Anyway, there you but there go. you go, Charlie. It shows. Your You're turn next. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, good morning to you. Let me take you through what's in store today, first of all, shall we? Because uh, we have had, well, as you can see here, a bit of mist and fog around now, pushing its way into the outskirts of uh, Manchester. Uh, that mist and fog, though, will clear. Sunshine overhead. That's the story for quite a few of you. But for some, it's a bit of a great damp start this morning. Let's talk. Let's talk. Don't you think, Matt, morning? Don't you think Charlie would make good a really morning. good corpse? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to answer that one. Truthfully, <laughs> like it always works. Trouble. Truthfully, it always works. Yeah, very much so. But I think you'd make a very brilliant actor. Really good part in it. Yes. Uh, clown feet, big nose, the whole lot. <laughs> like a He's nonchalant talking. person sitting at the bar. I can do that. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, range is what we're talking here. <laughs> it's, it's huge range. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> go on, Matt. Don't go jump. No, I'm going to do that. Let's not do that. No. <laughs> Matt, what have you got? He's not going to let it go anyway. Uh, Shall we get on with the weather? <laughs> sort ourselves out. Very good morning to you anyway. A bit of mist and fog here in uh, the Lake District, starting to lift up from the lake. Uh, some of you will see sunshine today. For others, though, the cloud will remain in place. Particularly where we've got rain at the moment. Channel Island, South East England, parts of East Anglia. That's going to come and go all day long. A few showers west of Scotland, Northern Ireland at the moment. They will uh, gradually uh, fade. And this weekend, the mornings will be rather chilly. The days are getting colder. Most dry, but some wet and windy weather in northern Scotland later on Sunday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye, Tibo. Matt, thanks so much. Enjoy yours too. Will do. Thank you.